My name is Marie Giles, and this is my story of life change through Christ. Life before LifeHouse was um, very busy, very quick. Um, I have recently transitioned back to Hampton Roads about three and a half years ago. It wasn't easy. Um, I had the opportunity to work in a rewarding job, um, but it's challenging at the same time, so that was a transition. Um, at the time, my daughter was one and a half years old, and, you know, raising her, um, of course, is a journey as well. But the one thing that um, was missing was um, having that community, um, having those individuals to lean on. That was the one missing piece. I always knew that, but never really made an effort to seek out church. For me, it might have been, you know what, I'm, I'm just gonna sleep in today, or I'm just gonna go to the gym. I just didn't make it a priority. Um, I was my own barrier in that process of reestablishing, you know, that, that relationship with God and, and the church. Easter Sunday was approaching and I was on a hunt to find an activity, a fun activity for my daughter to participate in. Um, and uh, as I was about to leave the gym, um, I saw this flyer um, for a community-wide Easter egg hunt at Todd Stadium in Newport News. So I was interested in the possibility of taking my daughter. It sounded fun. I was familiar with the stadium because I used to run track there in middle and high school. So um, when I got home that day, I did a little bit of research on the event and also LifeHouse, and I felt like it would be a fun event to take my daughter to. Um, so I signed her up and we were scheduled to go um, that Saturday before Easter. So I took my daughter to the event and she had an awesome time. I was very impressed with the organization because there were just so many people um, at the event at Todd Stadium. Um, everyone was so welcoming, warm, lots of smiles, and my daughter had a wonderful time um, with her Easter egg hunt, and we just left. Um, the next day was Easter, and I actually had plans to attend an Easter service in Richmond, Virginia with my daughter and one of my best friends. But early that morning, um, the plans kind of changed last minute and I thought about LifeHouse and the experience that I had the day before as we got to the church um, we were greeted by individuals who were just happy to see us there uh, we had an opportunity to take pictures and there were lots of donuts available um, which my daughter really loved um, we also connected with Pastor John and through our conversation uh, we found out that we actually grew up in the same, pretty much the same area of Hampton, and my conversation with Pastor John, you would think that we had known each other for years. He was just that open and welcome, welcoming to all of us, so um, that was pretty awesome to experience within LifeHouse as well. A couple of weeks back, Pastor John concluded the A Beautiful Mess series, and as um, each week included a specific message in regards to that topic of being a beautiful mess, and each week, um, the words and the messages within his sermon really did resonate with me. And at the end of the series, I knew that I needed to make a decision in regards to, you know, my next step as far as my, my faith walk with Jesus Christ. And it was at that moment when we were given the opportunity to say yes, that I knew that it was time for me to go all in and truly commit myself to this walk with Jesus Christ. LifeHouse has truly been a blessing in not only my life, but also in my daughter's life. The people there always have a huge smile on their face. They give high fives, they give big hugs, and that's totally reassuring um, to not only me, but also my daughter. She loves it there, um, and she also loves the donuts as well.